Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osterberg501 and today I want to go over how you can go about using up all of your work energy in the most quick and efficient way in Lost Ark. So just a quick explanation on the system, why it's so important and why you would want to do it as quickly as possible. So the work energy system is what you use on any of your trade skills or what you would usually call professions or gathering professions in other MMOs. Every time you gather a plant, fish, do anything like that, it takes some of your work energy. Now, later down the line in Lost Ark, this is one of the main ways you go about making gold on a daily or weekly basis. Not wasting any of your work energy and constantly getting the most out of it will be very lucrative for the entire life of Lost Ark. And it will get more and more lucrative as the Western version of the game implements more things to fight against bots. And if you're somebody that's playing other games or don't have as much time to play Lost Ark on a daily or weekly basis, you want to use up all of your work energy as quickly as you possibly can without just wasting it. And that is what we're going over in this video. Now, the first thing you want for this is to go on the shop and buy Leap's Essence. Now, what these essentially do is just double everything about the trade skill system. It doubles the amount of resources you get. It doubles the amount of energy you use. It doubles the amount of XP and it doubles the amount of durability lost on your gathering tools. So it's pretty much just a speed boost for your trade skills and your gathering. And you can buy 10 of these for 100 crystals, which is right around 400 gold right now. So it's pretty cheap. And these use up 3,000 work energy before they go away. So you're essentially only going to need three to completely empty your energy. And the second thing you're going to want is the level 30 perk for the foraging trade skill, because that is what we're going to be doing to use up our work energy as quickly as possible and I think foraging is going to be one of the professions that gets a lot more lucrative as time goes on and is something you're going to want to have leveled up for a few other reasons down the road. Now the level 30 perk is called a green thumb and this is tied to the level 20 perk as well and the level 20 perk is anytime you gather a foraging resource you have the possibility of finding an ether and this will increase your movement speed stacks up five times. Now for green thumb when you get five stacks of essence of vigor you you get green thumb and green thumb gives you a pretty massive buff to your foraging gathering. And the green thumb buff reduces the gathering time by 50%, increases your movement speed by 15%, and additionally increases the special drop rate by 100%. And this is all for 40 seconds, and it consumes 30 extra work energy for gathering. So it essentially just buffs up the speed at which you're able to gather these items, and then gives you a much higher chance to get the more rare items from these. So you're going to be having leap essences on, which just double everything about the trade skills then you're going to be getting this green thumb stacked up which just increases your movement speed your gathering rate costs more energy so now you're just going to be flying through energy getting tons of resources moving faster and gathering faster and those are the main things you're going to need now if you don't have level 20 level 30 foraging just do this same method go use your leap essences and just keep doing that until you have green thumb and then once you have green thumb it's just going to massively speed up the rate at which you can use up your work energy. It's going to be a little bit slower until you have that, but I would definitely recommend just keep doing this so you can get to that point. Now, I would recommend going to a Lullaby Island to use up all of your work energy. The reason for this is this is a pretty small island. There are no enemies on this island, so you don't have to worry about getting your foraging or your gathering canceled. And there are a lot of gatherable nodes very close together, and they have a pretty quick respawn time. So this is pretty much the perfect island if you're just trying to use up your work energy and not waste any of your work energy and go through that process as quickly and efficiently as you possibly can. And the max work energy you have is 10,000. Now with this 10,000 energy and doing this method I went over in this video, I was able to completely use up all of my work energy in under 15 minutes. Now if you do this at more of an off time and maybe you have a few additional speed boosts or movement abilities in your class's tool, 
toolkit, you could probably do this in 10 minutes pretty consistently. And that's using up the entirety of your 10,000 work energy. Now, to put this into context, at a baseline, you get 30 work energy recovered every 10 minutes. And if you have the Crystalline Aura, which is the optional subscription for the game, you will recover 33 work energy every 10 minutes. Now, at this rate, you recover right under 5,000 work energy in a 24-hour period. So you will only have to go do this method every two days. So it is 10 to 15 minutes every two days, and you will never be wasting any work energy. And not only that, you will also be building up yourself a ton of possible gold and resources while doing that. And this is one of, if not the fastest ways to go about using up all of your work energy. And the main reason I want to go over in this in a video is because I know there's a lot of people that are kind of more in a maintenance mode in the game right now while we wait for more content. I know there's a lot of people that still want to keep progressing even though they don't have a lot of time to play. And more specifically with me, I've currently been grinding the newest game in the Borderlands franchise that came out. So I'm pretty much in maintenance mode as well. So I don't want to be spending as much time and Lost Ark, but I still want to get all of my dailies and weeklies done, and I still don't want to waste any of my work energy. So this is the way I've gone about spending all of my work energy in the most efficient and quick way possible. But that's pretty much all I want to go over for this method, so subscribe if you want to see more Lost Ark or other MMO videos, leave a like if you liked the video, leave a comment down below what you guys think about this trade skill method, and thanks for watching.